Just walked off the basketball court the other day and, and enjoyed watching the basketball team play. And here we are, uh, guys are back, and we're going to have a run test tomorrow and have a couple practices on Wednesday. So we're, I, think, I know the guys are really excited, and I'm really excited to get back at it again. And another uh, terrific schedule again this year, especially with being in, back in the ACC. Uh, and then the ACC tournament, and we're playing a lot of local, somewhat local teams. And always, uh, you know, the Hopkins of the world and the Albanys of the world uh, that have done, uh, you know, extremely well nationally. Uh, Hopkins forever and some of the other teams, uh, you know, a lot of playoff teams from last year. Uh, we certainly have our challenges as coaches, you know, the last few years. Our staff has gotten together in the fall and, and we've looked at our team. Uh, in the last two or three years, a lot of the team has come back, especially at the offensive end of the field. So we have our challenges this year. You know, we walked out in fall and, uh, you know, the Kevin Rices and the Randy Stats and the Leckies and Schoolmakers and Glassos weren't out there like they were for the last three and four years. So it's been a challenge for us this fall to, first of all, figure out who we are between the newcomers, transfers, uh, the, you know, the freshmen, the guys that are returning and trying to piece some things together off at the offensive end of the field and we're starting to get there. Uh, certainly this next few weeks is going to tell us a lot and I think as we go forward you're going to see some changes during the season as, as we figure out our players and as guys uh, tend to rise to the top. So we're really looking forward to uh, our conditioning tomorrow to see which guys have put the time in and are ready to go and, and, and look to take some of those spots that are wide open in the midfield and at the attack end of the field at the offensive end. Uh, fortunately, we're returning, uh, you know, Ben Williams in the face-off, so we, we hope that he's going to give us uh, similar possessions to what he gave us last year. Cal Paduta is right behind him. Uh, ben didn't play this fall, so Cal got a lot of experience and was right behind Ben last year and has some tremendous experience uh, this fall, so we feel we've got some depth in that position. And then defensively, you know, to have Mullins and McDermott back, uh, Tate, D'Agostino, uh, Cunningham, some other guys that uh, with some game experience, and I feel defensively the uh, incoming class is very talented. I, they really made some impressions uh, on us this fall, and some freshmen have a great opportunity to play. Uh, you know, Mellon has done a great job to get out of West Tennessee. Nick, uh, Helmer, uh, Diltz, Bomberry, all have come in and, and played very well this fall. Gotten better uh, every day they've been here. They're, very good skills, they're very good one-on-one -on -one defensively, and now that they're with us, they're getting to know the packages uh, better and better, and uh, certainly Warren Hill uh, has done a great job this fall, along with Evan Malloy, who's come back and, and done a, a pretty good job, and, and uh, Warren has just come in and, and really kind of taken over and, and a different goalie than he was a year ago, so we're excited about his play so far this fall and in the fall scrimmages. Uh, again, being a 100th year of uh, 100th year of lacrosse in, in Syracuse. Uh, that certainly brings a little bit more to it. Uh, with our tradition and history of the sport, success of the sport, our guys are certainly up to that challenge coming into this year.